Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this bad boy. This is the Pro Heat Two Times Revolution Pet Pro. So this is what the box it comes in looks like in case anyone's trying to find it in the store. And it does come with a few accessories that I'll talk about a little bit later. First, I wanted to show you guys this disgusting couch, 14 years old, and it's very bad. I'm also showing you guys a few spots I have all over the carpet in my living room that I'm hoping this will take out. So first I spray the spots with this heavy traffic spray and let that sit while we got everything else ready. Now you're gonna remove the yellow cap and you'll see here there is a water and formula line so we just filled it with really hot water from the tap and then added it up to the formula line with this Bissell Advanced Carpet Cleaner. This is a deep cleaner, but of course you can use any um, carpet cleaner that you like to use for your situation. They also does come with this little black cap um, to add the formula to, but we felt like that was just a little bit of a redundant step because you can just pour it directly into the canister. Now you want to just kind of lightly shake it up and then it easily snaps right back into the carpet cleaner and that is all, you are good to go. So the pros and cons with this carpet cleaner are actually kind of intertwined with our entire reasoning for wanting to purchase one. We've always rented a carpet cleaner twice a year from our local hardware store and we always feel like our living room needs to be done more often than that. Renting one of these three to four times a year would actually cover the cost of just buying one for home use. And then we'll just always have it on hand and be able to utilize it whenever we want. And so we're super excited about that. Now, I do want to talk to you guys about the very first con that we found with this vacuum. And it is the fact that the bucket on it is super small. We had done one whole section and started another. And then we realized that the vacuum wasn't really sucking up as much as it should have been. And we kind of realized that... Um, the bucket was full already and so we essentially only were able to get like this i don't know 10 foot square maybe less right here where i'm showing you guys with my finger that is only the area before the bucket was full so we had to do the rest of this over again because it wasn't working properly we were a little concerned at this point that it was going to take longer it typically takes about three to four hours to do our entire 2,000 square foot house with the one that we rent from the hardware store but it ended up not taking any longer it was just a little bit of a hassle to have to go change the bucket so much Okay, you guys, moment of truth. Look how disgusting this water is. We're only done with about a fourth of the living room. And we're showing you guys how far over the line, you guys see the white line there. We went, and this is where we had to go and change the bucket because we basically did twice as much as what we should have. To remove the bucket, you just pull down this little silver lever here and it comes right out. Now, I wanna show you guys how disgusting this is when we dump it out, but I also wanted to show you guys the all the little things they thought of for cleaning this. So the little piece on the inside actually comes out and you're able to get in all the nooks and crannies and clean it. And then they also have this special tool that you can get inside of there and get any clumps of carpet or hair or dust or grime right out of that. In order to use that little tool, you just press this button here and this panel comes right out and then you press the two green buttons and it removes another cover that protects the wheels. You can reach right in and pull hair out of the wheels, clean the wheels, or you can use that specialized tool like we're going to show you guys in just a moment how to use that but it goes right in there in all the nooks and crannies and for me i really struggle with keeping these types of things clean like my vacuum cleaner and all that so anytime something is easy to clean they thought of everything. It just makes my heart smile. I just really love it. And that is a huge, huge pro for me. Anytime I purchase anything and there is like something that comes with it to be able to clean it and just get it where it's not gross. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like if I'm using a dirty carpet cleaner or a dirty vacuum or any kind of piece of equipment that to clean something and it's dirty, it just kind of seems counterproductive. So I love that they included this tool because you guys can't quite see on camera but the spot where I was cleaning it actually had two layers of plastic so it kind of looked like you could just reach back there and clean it but you couldn't so essentially you had to have something very small to get in that space and so the tool works perfectly you guys saw here putting it back together was just as simple as taking it apart so the last thing I want to show you guys on this vacuum is the upholstery cleaner like attachment piece. I'm just going to show you guys how that kind of works and then how well at the end I was able to get up the spots on my carpet and how the couch turned out. 
As you guys see, there's just a little piece that you flip up to attach one end of the hose into the front of the cleaner, and then the other piece goes on the little handle. And then you have your little trigger here for wet and dry, and you basically just spray the whole thing down and then suction it up. So I have a little quick reminder here of what the couch looks like, and then we're going to go ahead and start cleaning it. Now I will tell you guys that this takes a lot of elbow grease. I was planning on doing this later on in the week, but my husband got to go in, and luckily he did it for me he's awesome so he wanted to see this couch clean just as much as I did he couldn't believe I was actually gonna put our couch on YouTube he's like that's disgusting you're not embarrassed people to see our couch and I was like you know what I'm doing it for the people you know they gotta see I'm sure other people have messes like this and when you put it out there they realize they're normal <laughs> we have a 14 years worth of grime on this couch and I have cleaned it but I never have come up with quite a great option for cleaning the couches and this is just a satisfying shot I think just seeing all that dirty water going in there and yeah I, I will admit it's it's pretty gross it's pretty <laughs> disgusting but I'm doing it for you guys so you can see how well it works and I will say that this worked really well on the couch I'm going to show you guys a before and after shot of how it looked it didn't get up everything, but it looks massively better. As far as the spots on the carpet were concerned, one only came up about halfway, so I need to get a new cleaner to try again on that one. It was just really set in. Then I had another one that was newer, but it came out completely and it looked awesome. I wanna show you guys how disgusting the water was when we were about a fourth of the way done with the couch. That is how dark the water is coming out of the couch. So it definitely needed it. Now I do have one final feature that I almost forgot about that I wanna show you guys, and that's the clean shot pre-treatment for uh, pets. You just press this button right here and it actually like sprays out, it squirts out just out of this little thing instead of the whole like cleaner being clean just out of this little nozzle here and it's supposed to be like if a pet um, pees on the floor and at the first my husband and I were kind of thinking like I don't know why you would need that but I, as I thought about it more I think maybe if you wanted to get one concentrated spot as opposed to having the whole floor wet I don't know I feel like this might just be a little gimmicky but um, I don't know. I think maybe they're trying to compete with those little cleaners that you put down that clean just one spot. So regardless, that's something they're for interested in. We don't have pets. So if that's a feature you're interested in, I'm not really 100% sure if it's worth it or not. But there you go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it gave you a little insight if you're looking to buy a carpet cleaner for your home. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.